Hello, I'm Sienna Bells, and welcome to my channel, Learning Builds Live. And today we're going to talk about how to find quick factors of quadratic polynomials when the middle or linear term coefficient is 2. It's a new case, and we have, I have a special trick for you, but it's different from the trick you learned in the previous episode. It's a bit different. So we can begin. In the first polynomial to factorize, we have x squared plus 2x minus 255. In prior, we have all the polynomials with the negative sign in front of the constant term, so I don't need to repeat that, but we need to focus on the sign in front of the linear or middle term. And well, we have highlighted this 2x because of we have the new case, hence. So this, the first thing is saying we need to locate 255 between two consecutive perfect squared numbers. So let us find out what they are. The perfect squared numbers are 15 squared, 225, less than 255, less than 16 squared, 256. And um, since the middle term coefficient is 2, we need to do a special thing here. The thing is that we need to add 2 to the smaller number. And we get here 15 and 17. And we need to subtract 2 from the bigger number. And we get the pair 14 and 16. Now, um, what what to choose? That's a bit dilemma, but it's not dilemma until we know that the product of two odd numbers gives an odd number, and product of two even numbers, fourteen and sixteen, gives an odd uh, gets an even number. So um, obviously we have an odd number over here. We need to take the odd pair, not the even one. Even pair is out. We need to take in the odd pair, and uh, we have a positive sign from two x which tells us that the bigger number should have a positive sign and the smaller should have the negative sign. So our factorization is x plus 17 the whole into x minus 15 the whole. Our next polynomial is x squared minus 2x minus 288. We now need to focus on this sign, I told you already. We need to focus on the constant term and we need to focus on the sign in front of the linear or middle term. So we have the 288 as the constant term and we need to locate 288 between two consecutive perfect squared numbers. So those two consecutive perfect squared numbers, 16 squared, 256, lesser than 288, lesser than 17 squared, 289. And as in the first case, we have a middle term coefficient that's 2. So we need to add 2 to the smaller number that gives us the pair of 16 and 18. And we need to subtract 2 from the bigger number, which gives us the pair 15 and 17. Now, again, we know that the product of two even numbers gives us an even number, and product of two odd numbers gives us an odd number. So, obviously, this is an even number, and we can take the odd pair. We need to take in the even pair. And we have a negative sign for our 2x, which tells us that the smaller number should have a positive sign, and the bigger number should have the negative sign. So, the factorization is x plus 16 the whole into x minus 18 the whole. We can move on to our third polynomial, x squared plus 2x minus 323. Now I need to locate the constant term 323 between two consecutive perfect square numbers. They are 17 squared, 289, less than 323, less than 18 squared. 324. So we have got 
323 between 289 and 324, which are two consecutive perfect squared numbers. And we have to add two to the smaller number, which gives us the pair 17 and 19. And we have got the pair by subtracting two from 18, which gives us 16 and 18. Again, we know a, a product of two odd numbers gives us an odd number, and a product of two even numbers gives us an even number. So we have an odd number. We can't take, uh, we can't take the even pair. We have to take the odd pair. So the even pair goes out. The odd pair is in, and we have the positive sign for our two x, which tells us the bigger number should have a positive sign, and the smaller should have a negative sign. So the factorization is x plus nineteen. The whole into x minus 17 the whole. Move on to our fourth polynomial x to the uh, x squared minus 2x minus 368. Need to focus on the constant term again and not this sign but this sign. Okay, in front of the middle or linear term, the sign in front of the middle or linear term. But first, let's work with the constant. We need to locate 316 between two consecutive perfect square numbers. Let us see what they are. They are 18 squared, 324, less than 360, less than 19 squared, 361. So we have located 360 between 324 and 361, that, which are two consecutive perfect square numbers. So now again, we need to add 2 to 18 to get the pair 18 and 20. And subtract 2 from 19 to get 17 and 19 as the pair. But we have an even number, so we need to take the product of even numbers and not product of odd numbers, since that gives an odd, odd number, but we have an even one. So the odd pair goes out, and the even pair goes in. And we have a negative sign from 2x, which tells us that the smaller numbers have the positive sign, the bigger numbers should have the negative sign. So accordingly, we factorize your polynomial, and we get x plus 18, the whole, into x minus 20, the whole. Move on to our last and fifth polynomial, x squared plus 2x minus 399. So again, we need to take care of the constant term and, the, you know, the 2x term. But the 399 has to be located between two consecutive perfect squared numbers. They are 19 squared, 361, less than 399, less than 20 squared, 400. So 399 is located between 361 and 400, which are two consecutive perfect square numbers. And, um, I forgot, almost I forgot to add 2 to the smaller number to get the pair 19 and 21. And we have to subtract 2 from 20 to get 18 and 20 as a pair. But we have an odd number, so we need uh, a product of two odd numbers, and not a product of two even numbers, and this pair goes out, this pair is in. So, uh, we need to take 19 and 21 as the pair, and, and we have a positive sign for 2x, which tells us that we need to write the positive sign for the bigger number and the negative sign for the smaller number. So accordingly, we factorize, we get x plus 21, the whole, into x minus 19, the whole. Now, I've got a sum for you all. x squared plus 2x minus nine, 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 nine. I'm giving you a few moments to copy this polynomial. I hope you like this episode, but before we end this episode, I need to talk about this polynomial. This polynomial looks difficult, but it's actually having a trick to do, and I hope you can find a trick. And remember, there is two 
Number two, as the middle term coefficient, don't forget that and do a mistake. I hope you like this episode. Thank you. Please write your answers to this polynomial in the comment section below, and please like, share, and subscribe my channel. Thank you. In the next blog, we will discuss on episode 3, which is quick factors of quadratic polynomials when the middle or linear term coefficient is 3. Please subscribe our channel and press the bell button.